meditation moments at Unity of Wilmington in Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm Reverend Nikki Golden. I'm one of the co-ministers here, and this is Katie D. She's the music director. And together, we'll be leading you today in a brief guided meditation. I'm going to invite you to start by rubbing your hands together. Just rubbing them together. Get a little friction going there. And then see if you can feel the energy that flows between your hands. One of the ways I do it is I like to push my hands together and see if I can feel that feeling like magnets on the wrong side, you know, how they push apart. Get that feeling and then extend it out a little bit. What we're feeling here is our own life force energy. We all have life force energy. And we're beginning to feel it. You can even sort of roll it around like a ball. There's a Qigong meditation that does just that. It begins to shape energy as if it's a ball moving very slowly as if it's a ball and see if you can heighten your awareness of that energy ball there it is you can even make your hands go up and down a little bit to see if you can bring your attention to that ball of energy that we're creating here just keep playing with it. If you don't have the experience yet, just keep playing with it. This is something you can do anytime. Sometimes I do this when I'm waiting on the light to turn green so I can go in the car again. It helps me to be patient for whatever's happening around me. And then that movement of the energy ball helps us to center and ground our bodies. Have you ever had a time where you felt sad or lonely? Feeling like you're the only one? Oh, I'm the only one who feels this way. And I feel sad, and I don't want to feel sad. Beginning to move energy. Sadness is just an emotion. Emotion has the root word of to motivate, which means to move. So emotions are just energy that are in motion. And sadness has a much slower energy than joy, which would move a lot faster, like a for joy. But sadness would be like a sine wave that's going very slowly, almost feels like slow motion. When we can draw forth our own energy, our life force energy, and we can begin to feel it, feel it, and we can begin to build it, when we can become aware of it, we can then take that energy on a day or a time, a moment when we feel sad, and we can move the energy, move our life force energy. We can create a ball, and we could actually take that ball. So I'm going to invite you to do this with me. Take that ball and pour it over us, and just notice what you notice. Notice what you experience. Notice what you feel. Energy is all around us. Have you ever walked into a place where you felt as if the energy was really thick and you felt uncomfortable? You can remember what we've done with bringing our own life force energy together and creating this ball. And as we practice it, it actually becomes easier and easier to do. And when we remember that we're using our life force energy, so we are energetic beings, and we can take that life force energy, get a sense of awareness about it, and move it all around us in a 
a circle, a circle that goes out at least three feet. And so then whoever we come into contact with can have an experience of our life force energy. And we can use our energy to move the energy in the spaces that we're in. And when somebody comes in contact with our life force energy, it's like they have an invitation to join us or to stay with their energy. Have you ever been close to a friend and their joy was infectious? Their happiness just picked you up and swooped you along in the wave of it? When we're aware of our energy, when we're aware of the ways that we can change that energy through movement of that energy, then we can begin to be a force of energy in any room, any place that we enter. We can use our energy to change the environment while we are in the environment by collecting that energy, being aware of it, and moving it all around us. And then as we move through a place where it feels like the energy is more dense, then we can be a powerful force in changing the energy of that environment. When we're in a place where the energy already feels good, we can be a powerful force in allowing the goodness of that energy, the joy of that energy, the excitement of that energy to continue to be present. This is one of the ways we make a difference in the world with our energy and what we bring to any place that we are. So when we're sad, when we're scared, when we're angry, we can use our own life force energy to make the shift. It may take some time, but that's okay. It takes as long as it takes. But when we play with our own energy, and when we play in the realm of our environment with our energy, we make a difference when our energy is a high vibration. There's nothing wrong with being sad. We all get sad at times. There's nothing wrong with being frightened. That occurs, that's part of the human experience. There's nothing wrong with feeling angry. But oftentimes we're told we shouldn't feel those things. And yet, if we don't allow the energy of those feelings to move and learn to move them, to navigate those energies in a way that support us, then what's going to happen is we're going to suppress them. And scientists tell us that about 80 to 90 percent of illness comes from that level of suppression. So today, will you join me in being the mover of energy? First, in our own bodies. Secondly, in our environments, wherever we go, would you be willing to make a commitment that you enter and exit a room with a high vibration, a high level of energy, a high level and radiance of light? Have you ever seen somebody and they just seem to glow with joy or happiness? Have you ever desired that for yourself? With our own learning how to use our life force energy, we can learn how to be the sparkle of the room, to learn how to sparkle all the time. And then to know that we're making a difference in the world, that we have a sense of belongingness for ourselves, and then as we move through the world, we're inviting that same belongingness, that same energy, that same high frequency for others. And then our job is not to be attached to whether somebody else chooses to live in that level of energy, but to celebrate that we're making that choice and to know that by making that choice, we're simply an invitation 
for someone to take it. Who do you show up as when you enter a room? Who do you show up in as in your own life? Are you that ball of joy, of light, of love, moving the energy that's part of your life force energy and that's part of the energy that connects us heart to heart, mind to mind, in the field of all potentiality, our very beingness connecting with each other in our oneness. What a joy to be with you today, playing with energy, recognizing that we are energy and noticing and understanding a way that we can move energy wherever we go. And so it is. Amen. <laughs>